So how do you think that went, Susie? I think having two ambulances dispatched at the same time was very beneficial since we ended up with two patients. Yeah, it's a good thing we used that two-tiered system because we certainly needed the extra set of hands today. Yeah, it was nice when we got there and we kind of had some privacy where you guys were in that office and everybody else got pushed out at that point. Um, and we didn't spend a lot of time there because we had you know, what seemed to be a sick kid, but uh, it was nice that we didn't have to work out in the open. And it was nice that you know Mary's co-worker got everybody out of the boardroom and she went to call the, the family to get any more history. Mm -hmm. So that was very helpful mm -hmm. that we had that bystander. We weren't there very long. I didn't notice. Did you have her on oxygen at all? Or Yeah, we did. We had started some oxygen early on. We did four liters nasal cannula. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Not that we would always have to do that. Right. Uh, but mm -hmm. uh, in, in this case, we did. Do you guys think that you would have needed a second ALS unit to take care of her with you? or? Well, it was nice when Mike was doing the oxygen, I did the vital signs. Mm -hmm. So our initial set of vital signs were good. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as the baby was delivered, we took another set mm -hmm. just to make sure. And I think with her vitals were stable that we were able to transport. And we had our vehicle there quickly as well. So Yeah, had we not gotten the bleeding under control at the end, mm -hmm. certainly we sh we should have considered it, you know, an ALS unit for the transport. Right. Was there a lot of bleeding? There was a substantial amount early on, but uh, we started taking care of it right away with pads and, and the fundal massage. Okay. And, and in fact, we probably massage. should have you know, given her some indication that we were going to have to do that. Yes. It happened so quickly right. that once the baby was delivered, I used pads, and then Mike started right away with fundal massage because she was hemorrhaging. Right. So they're really, we should have taken the time to do that. But we just moved so quickly. I'm sure it wasn't all that comfortable for her, but it worked. No, a yeah. lot. It seemed like there was a lot of pain associated with it. So we probably should have given her some indication that we were going to do that. Nice. So yeah. sounds like that went but, pretty well. Yeah, and, and I, I'm very thankful that you got the baby out of there so quick too. Yes. We were able to, you know, try to refocus her. Well, it was hard to do that, mm -hmm. but it was absolutely beneficial that you well, got her she out. Well, was anxious too because now she's bleeding. You know, worrying about her baby. So having you come in quickly let us concentrate on the mother and then mm. you took care of the baby yeah, yeah. how'd that, get out there how'd that go and we, well we got yeah. out really quickly and got into the ambulance and the child wasn't doing too well at first but uh, yeah, a little know. lethargic didn't have a real aggressive cry at first mm -hmm. uh, we started with some just uh, room air bag valve mask mm -hmm. um, and you know as soon as we had her on the pulse ox and realized that the umbilical pulse was so low uh, we just immediately moved to uh, some compressions and after about 90 seconds Dave we switched over to some high flow oxygen We didn't yeah. want to go too quick with that, but right. also with the right. the heart rate being so low We didn't want to wait too long either. Yeah, and we did a few other things like you know the padding under the shoulders to hypersend the head a little bit not too far yeah. the right size mass right OPA those kinds of things mm -hmm. you know it's good to have that kit where you had everything in one place that you could look at right what we should have had a little more accessible down the line was maybe like a length based resuscitation sure or like yeah that. and I know it's in the ALS bag right. but we should either have a second one in the PEDS bag right. or just move it there move it where there. all that stuff's gonna be anyway so right. what made Same you place. start decide to start compressions the heart rate was in the 40s consistently and we didn't have a pulse ox above the mid 80s yeah it's pretty low so we didn't want to we didn't waste any time uh, yeah. and honestly she responded really well uh, we did right. compressions for probably less than a minute right with some high flow oxygen right. just inflated the alveoli really nicely and she started crying and moving on her own yeah and the rest it was, was good it we went pretty quickly too it did yeah. we switched to blow by oxygen and she maintained her oxygen saturations and the heart rate came right up and the rest was a fairly routine transport from yeah, that just point. Keeping the child warm and you know, um, mine. I did think the only other thing I thought of afterwards was we should have had the IO drill out right. because we weren't going to have time to mess around with the peripheral line, and we don't really have the equipment for that umbilical That's line. Right. Right. So had she desaturated, we really should have been more prepared. Maybe for that. we can throw the IO drill in the peas bag. Uh, we use it for our kids and adults. It's just a matter of knowing where it is and not being able to having to fumble around to get it out. Yeah, that's true. So certainly, once they took the child, you know, it, it became much more anxious up. for us. And thankfully, we were freed up. But right. but you right. know, not knowing what the outcome of the baby was going to be was both challenging for us as well as the mother. Right, sure. because right. she kept asking questions, and we were concentrating on her. So right. we only could reassure her that. Baby was in good hands, and you were taking care of the child while we were taking care of her. I think it may have been 
better to manage it that way instead of having both things going on yes. in one location. She wouldn't have been able to focus on anything but the baby no. if she could yeah, hear right. it struggling right. in the background. Exactly. So I think transporting in two separate ambulances to the same facility in this case was beneficial for both patients. Absolutely. And, and the hospital was ready for you when you got there? Oh, yeah. Yep, yeah. absolutely. They had a team outside waiting. Great. Excellent. Was there anything that we could have had done differently when you got there? Uh, I think we got the information that we needed. Okay. You know, the uh, the baby was ready. We didn't really have to do very much else. We were able to get into the ambulance and start the resuscitation immediately. Yeah, we had her wrapped up and you know ready to go that way. Right. Warm swaddler, okay. that whole thing. So you gave us the real quick. This is what it is. See ya. So did you do APGAR? We really didn't. Uh, you know, it's I don't always remember that, and to have to go by a checklist and it. it it's just too cumbersome, I think. Yeah, it sounds like way. use of the app car is, is on the way out anyway. It so. wouldn't have changed anything that we did anyway. Right. Uh, right. And then to try and relay that to the hospital, what numbers and the areas and the beginning and the end. Right. It just worked to plainly say what was going on. Right. You give a plain English report of what we did before and after, you mm-hmm. know, she was in distress, and they were right. able to put together a good picture mm-hmm. of what they needed when mm-hmm. we got there. Mm-hmm. And what was helpful for us because of how it was dispatched, we had our OB kit with us. Mm-hmm. So we had that right there with our airway yeah. bag and everything was in there. So, you know, we were able to lay that out and since it was such a quick delivery, we were able to have all the equipment there and ready to go use. Yeah, it was important to take in the AED, the airway bag, and the OB kit all at the same exact time. Mm-hmm. Certainly in, in this case, it, it paid off. Right, yeah. no, that's good, excellent. So, Childbirth is a BLS skill. Absolutely. Yes. Is. <laughs> well, that's good. I'm now glad it all worked out well. Now we need pink stork pins. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad it all worked out well. <laughs>